Hey, what's happening, gang? Bobby Spellman here with another random mute equipment video on... Topic with Bob. While I've got this condenser mic set up for my Harman Mute video, while I've got all my mutes out, I figured I'd do a little demonstration of the difference between the classic Harman Mute brand Harman and the Jorel Bubble Mute. This one in particular is made out of copper and some other things. It's got a beautiful sound. This also works great. We're just gonna give a little demonstration now on the difference between those two mutes. So if you're in the market for Harman Mute, you will be able to make a decision. All right, so we're gonna start off with the Harman Mute with the stem in, this doesn't happen very often, but hey, you want to know how it sounds if you want to get that real quirky wild stem Harman Mute sound. All right, that was the saddest thing that's ever been played on a Harman Mute with a stem in it. I'm gonna pull the stem out a little bit, you get a sense for what that sounds like. Now I'm gonna play something that somebody would actually play with a stem in. All right, now we're gonna try the Joe Rao Bubble Mute with the stem in. All right, here's the difference. Let's check this out. If I pull that out a little bit more. All right, so let's do this now. We're gonna take the stem out. We're gonna start with this one. Get a sense for what this sounds like if you're playing it without the stem in like a normal person. All right, here we go. All right, that's the Joe Rao Bubble Mute in copper. And we're gonna take out the classic Harman Mute one more time. One thing that I will say right off the bat is that this Harman Mute is way lighter than the other one. The Joe Rao Bubble Mute's much heavier. I think that's gonna contribute substantially to the sound. You ready? <laughs> So this obviously has a very different tone than the other one. Both of them are Harmon Mute tones. You get the same kind of an idea. Uh, the one thing that I notice more than anything about this, just in terms of the playability, is the low register below C starts to get real slippery. It starts to become much more difficult to hold on to some of those notes. Now I'm gonna play the same thing. I'm gonna try some of those lower notes with the Joe Rao Bubble Mute. We're gonna see how that sounds. <laughs> Those notes in the low register feel much more secure on this mute. That's one thing I noticed. You'll also be able to hear from the microphone the difference in the tones, but you can hear right off the bat that this is a much darker kind of a sound uh, than your average lightweight Harman brand Harman mute. Once again, I'm gonna give you a little taste of this. And once again, the Joe Rao bubble mute. Let's give it a try. Here we go. <laughs> All right, to my 
Uh, to my, in my experience, this thing is much easier to play, honestly. It's much easier to play. I like the sound that I get out of it. Uh, it'd be interesting to do a test where you have a, you know, you play in a big band or whatever and you try to figure out which one projects better. I honestly don't know the answer to that. It could go either way. It could be the lightweight Harman Mute projects, you know, a little bit better. It certainly has a little bit more high end to it, so that might cut through a band a little bit more easily. Uh, I know that there are some other Harman Mutes out there that are designed specifically to cut through a band and to really uh, sound strong even when you're playing, you know, solo stuff or when you're playing with a larger ensemble, something like that. So, it may just be about whatever kind of Harman Mute you're into, but if you're looking for a Harman Mute, there's a little demonstration of the difference between a more expensive, a uh, little bit thicker, heavier Joe Rao Bubble Mute and the very classic Harman brand Harman Mute. Both of them are going to do the job you need them to do. I would say that the Joe Rao Bubble Mute is a little bit easier to play. It feels a little bit more secure, but uh, it is more expensive. I would say probably twice as expensive. So if you're just looking for the budget option, this is 100% going to work. It's going to sound great. It's going to do what you need it to do. All right, gang, let me know in the comments what you decided to do or if you're in the market for a Harman Mute or if you got any other recommendations for the people who watch this video as to different mutes that they may want to look into if they're in the market for buying mutes. All right, gang, hope you're having a wonderful time playing the trumpet and practicing and shedding your Harmon Mute skills, and I will catch you on the next one. See ya! All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this video. I hope it helps in your pursuit of the majesty of musical self-expression. If you like what we're doing here, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Big thanks to all the new subscribers. We really appreciate your support and we're gonna keep putting out some new videos for you. The Ridgewood School of Music is now accepting new students for lessons online as well as in person in the Brooklyn, Queens, and greater New York City area. You can find us on our website at www.ridgewoodschoolofmusic.com and you can send us a message and we would love to help you achieve all of your musical dreams. For some more musical fun, you can also follow me, Bobby Spellman, on Instagram, at Bob Spellman, or in any of the other social media platforms listed in the description below. Thanks again for checking out this video. Happy practicing, and we'll catch you next time.